march of civil war flames in Indochina. Homes are ablaze as French troops clear the outskirts of Hanoi after a siege of weeks by Vietnamese. The city, attacked by rebels following the breakdown of negotiations for independence, was cut off in a lightning attack. Retreating insurgents leave a trail of fire as they flee before French colonial forces, heavily reinforced by units of the Foreign Legion. Jeeps rush help as mopping up operations proceed and snipers are hunted down. Through the burning streets, French troops drive out rebels fighting rear guard action. Hundreds of casualties on both sides fall as the fight for Hanoi takes on the proportions of a major engagement. Arms left by Japanese following their occupation of Indochina permit the Vietnamese to offer stiff resistance as they retreat, leaving their dead by the score. Mute evidence of the ferocity of the fight. Also, they leave their slogans, down with French rule. During the battle areas, is General Jacques Leclerc and his staff in charge of military operations in Indochina. They cross a bridge under enemy fire. Accompanying them is French overseas minister Moutet, sent to Indochina to report on the rebellion to the cabinet in Paris. A clean-cut victory must be won, said Monsieur Moutet, before independence negotiations can be resumed. The wrecking of the Pasteur Institute, leading hospital in Hanoi, is a major act of vandalism. Even the bust of the immortal Pasteur is a casualty. During the bitter warfare, it is estimated that the Vietnamese have nearly 100,000 under arms, and the French have called all regulars for colonial service as the situation becomes more tense. Evidence that Jap equipment is being used is this NIP helmet. France digs in for a colonial struggle that may be long and costly.